Hello POE students. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different tutorial video here. And I just wanted to explain to you uh, the concept of functions. So first, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's just take a look. I've, I was looking around the internet and I found a material sorter that uh, another group of people made. I have no clue where, who it is, whatever it is. I just looked it up. And it looks like a pretty solid material sorter. You've got a bin. Um, this might be a little suspect, but putting the marbles in, they go down the chute here. We have two servos that open the gate, close the gate, that will lend one marble in. A flashlight will shine through the marble, allow it to read its light value. Um, the bin will then identify which one it is. It'll go to that position, and it will then drop it in. So uh, what we're going to do here is I actually found their code. They posted their code which I was very lucky because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to make it better. So essentially, after looking at their code, I wanted to try to identify if there were any parts of their code that they could have truncated uh, by using functions. So essentially, what a function is going to do is it's going to take a whole bunch of code and it's going to condense it down. Uh, so essentially, the code's still going to be there. If we go here, this was the uh, the sample function. Essentially, you create a function by calling, by uh, declaring it. So void LED control here. Um, down at the bottom, after the task main, you actually put down the entire code. And then inside your code, you only have to put the function LED control. So when it reads LED control, it does all of this. So if you have a couple of different times where you need to use this LED control inside your program, you can just call this instead of have to write out this whole section multiple times. Uh, hopefully it's easy to understand because we're going to look at it here. So when I look at the program, I see something quite often. And that's right here. Uh, again, back at their picture, they have two gates. Uh, this back gate will open, allowing the marbles to pass through then it will close uh, trapping one in there and then it will read the value of it before it opens up the second gate so this or the yeah, the second gate so it opens up this gate quite often and throughout their code if we look back here we can see here open gate two, close gate two. so it's called once there or it's written once there it's written here again uh, continue it on let's see here it's here again so it's it's not you know a huge amount, but uh, it is called a few times. So to do this, what we would do is above the task main, we would void. All right. So at the beginning here, we would create. Uh, we'll call it um, gate two. Um, We'll just call it gate two. So we're going to create this. We're going to declare it called gate void two. At the end of our program, we are going to go ahead and go void gate two. And we're going to write some code for it. In this case, it happens quite often right here. So we're just going to take this subset of code. We're going to copy. We're going to paste it in there and close it out making sure that we're following the same idea here let's see here everything looks good yeah that looks like it's about set so now void gate 2 anywhere where that code is we can essentially take this right here and we can put it in place so uh, let's see here the first time it's used is right here so I can go ahead and paste gate 2. I guess I didn't get that G in there. So there'd be gate 2 there. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Another gate to open and close. I can go ahead and paste that in there. So now you can see here what I'm doing is that I'm eliminating lines of code to make it easier for me. Okay, here's another one in there. So in this case, it was an incredible amount of code, but I did pretty much write this once and I used it one two three times in my program so I used it three times I saved a few lines of code um, 
this is something that could be used if you need to, if you have some kind of bin system and you need to home it, uh, you can go through and you can do that. So in the end, if they took my code and they wanted to run on their marble sorter, it should run exactly the same. Uh, just going ahead and swapping in and creating a function. So essentially, code that repeats itself often, just bundle it up inside a function, uh, give that function a name, and then you can call that function multiple times.